In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages Access 30 and 31, in which we're going to be working with data in a query. You enter and edit data in a query data sheet the same way you do in a table data sheet. Because all the data is stored in tables, any edits you make to data in a query data sheet are actually stored in the underlying tables and are automatically updated in all views of the data in other queries, forms, and reports. In step one on page access 30, it tells us that we want to double click or select Stanley in the tour name field of the first or second record. So we're going to select Stanley here and we're going to type in breeze. And then it tells us after that we want to click any other record. And of course you'll notice that all occurrences of Stanley Bay shelling automatically has been updated to Breeze Bay shelling because this tour name value is stored only once in the tours table. Now the tour name is selected from the tours table and is displayed in the tours customer list query for each customer who purchases tour. So when we make this change here, it's actually went back to the table, the tours table, and if we would open that up, we would notice that right there on our record one, the Breeze Bay shelling that originally said Stanley Bay shelling. And we made that change on there and it automatically changed every single record or every single instance of Stanley Bay shelling and has now turned it to Breeze Bay shelling. So this shows you really some of the power uh, that Access actually has. In step two on there, it tells us that we want to select or double click Orlando in the city field of any record for the Golden uh, footsteps tour. So we have to find the Golden Footsteps tour which is down around here and which this is actually record 9 that I'm looking at but you can choose record 10, 11, any one of those records. And what we're going to do is, is that we're going to select Orlando and we're going to change this to Kissimmee. So it's K-I-S-S-I-M-M-E-E. -E. And then of course we're going to click on any other record and of course you'll notice as well that all the uh, occurrences of Orlando has automatically updated to Kissimmee because this value is stored only once in the city field of the tours table for the Golden Footsteps record. The Golden Footsteps tour is displayed in the tour customers list query for each customer who purchased the tour. In step 3 it tells us that we need to click the record selector button and of course our record selector button is over here on the left hand side that's these little boxes right here to the left of the first record and of course that's right over here and of course that's going to select this entire record here then it tells us that we want to click our home tab on the ribbon and then it tells us that we want to click the delete button in the records group. And our, here's our records group where we have refresh all, new, save, delete, total, spelling, and more. We click on the delete button. Once we have that, it may prompt you, uh, it may ask you, do you want to delete this? And you do want to click on yes. In my case, it didn't prompt me for that uh, on there. Uh, of course, you may, uh, if you click on the main button uh, on there, uh, it may not prompt you for that. However, if it doesn't, it's going to automatically delete that. Now remember, Access will automatically save these changes for you because you'll notice that in this case, since I've deleted that record, there is no undo for this. So you're going to have to be very careful while doing this. Uh, so when you're working with Access, you have to be very precise in what you do. So if you did this by accident, you're going to have to go back and redo that uh, on there if you really didn't mean to do that. So you're going to have to be very careful. But in this case, we did want to delete the first record. Now it says you can delete records from a query data sheet the same way you delete them from a table data sheet. Now, of course, notice the navigation bar now indicates that we have 101 records, just like 101 Dalmatians. And that's in our data sheet. Finally, in step four, it tells us that we want to right click the tour customer list query tab, and we want to go ahead and close this. And of course, notice it doesn't ask us that if we want to save it because it's automatically been saved for us as well.
Now each time a query is open, it shows a current view of the data. And this means that as new tours, customers, or sales are recorded in the database, the next time you open this query, the information will include all the updates. So if we would go through and add some new tours or some new customers and what they purchased, the next time that we would open up that tour customer list, it's probably going to have some brand new customers and brand new tours. So it's not going to have that 101 records. So we don't have to create a new query every time we um, want to look at this information. Now if we take a look on page access 31, it talks about hiding and unhiding fields in a data sheet. And of course it tells us on here to hide a field in a data sheet. We can right click the field name at the top of the data sheet and of course I'll show you on here. Uh, let's just say that we open up maybe this tours data sheet here and let's say that we want to uh, hide maybe the city on here. And to hide a field in a data sheet we can right click here where we have maybe our city here and of course we can go down and it tells us here that we right click the field name at the top of the data sheet and click the hide fields option on the shortcut menu and of course here's the hide fields of course you'll notice that now the city has been hidden now of course to unhide a field you need to right click any field name maybe such as the state and of course then you want to click on the unhide and then of course you'll notice that a list of all the fields come up and you'll notice that the city does not have a checkbox next to it or a check uh, in that box and that's because that one has been hidden if we click on that that's going to unhide the uh, field on there and of course when we click on that we notice the city has appeared and of course that's useful at times for if we're wanting to look at some specific information and we just want to hide some uh, basic uh, fields on there uh, just if we don't need that at this time period also we can freeze and unfreeze fields in a data sheet as well and sometimes in large data sheets you may want to freeze certain fields so that they remain on the screen at all times so to freeze a field like maybe we want to freeze the tour name here all we would have to do is right click the field name so like maybe the tour name here we can do that and we can click on the freeze fields and of course if we had a large data sheet here we can keep on scrolling over to the right and this would constantly be here now to unfreeze the field uh, on here we can right click this here and we can click on unfreeze all fields and of course then it would unfreeze the fields and that concludes the information that's on that pages access 30 and 31 in the next video we're going to be using the query design view so you're ready to move on to the next video